Are you looking for peace of mind at your doorstep? Look no further. With the Blink Video Doorbell, your home's entrance is always within your control. Check out the link in the video description to learn more and get your Blink Video Doorbell on Amazon. Your home is in your hands. Channel 7's veteran weatherman, Paul Burt, has broken his silence after he was axed by the network. The Queensland presenter was recently cut by Seven after almost three decades in the industry as part of a cost-cutting bloodbath. Bird told the Courier Mail he was enjoying a weekend away in Melbourne when he received a phone call telling him to come into the office on his next day back. I felt instantly ill. I don't get many weekends off so it put a dampener on everything, he admitted. By the time I went into the studio when I got back, some of my colleagues there had already been let go earlier that morning, so I knew what was coming. Bird admitted he was left shocked and embarrassed by the news. There was no leniency, there was no discussion, there was no, is there a way we can keep going? He said, Bird presented his final weather segment on Saturday and took aim at the network during his sign-off. If I'd had the opportunity, one wouldn't have wanted to go this way. It's what happens when you get sacked, he said at the end of the 6 p.m. news. The bulletin then awkwardly cut to a montage of Paul presenting segments over the years. He has worked for 10, 9, and 7 during his lengthy media career. It comes after veteran Channel 7 presenter Sharon Godella was also axed from the network earlier this month, after almost four decades in the news industry. Godella, 58, the face of 7 News in Queensland since 2007, confirmed the news in a fiery Facebook post. She said her tap on the shoulder finally came while she was at the salon, admitting it was a relief of sorts after several anxious weeks of media job cuts. But she was determined not to go quietly as she took aim at the failing network for prioritizing gimmicks like astrology readings over keeping veteran talent. When you work in TV for as long as I have, not a day goes by when you aren't expecting the proverbial tap on the shoulder. After 38 years, my shoulder tap has finally come, Gadella began. It wasn't quite how I expected it to end at Channel 7. I was actually sitting at the hairdressers for work when I got the call informing me that after 17 years with the network, my time was up. Gadella then said her recent time at the network had been miserable and she was glad to be heading out the door. While somewhat saddened by this decision, there is also some sense of relief. As has been widely reported, the past couple of weeks in TV has, sadly, been a miserable affair, she wrote. A long list of talented, loyal, and dedicated employees have been shown the door in what seems to have been an interminable process of pulling the band-aid off slowly when it comes to removing what has been deemed excess stock. These people are some of the best content creators in the business. They are good people and it's been heartbreaking to watch. Gadella added she was not a fan of the network's rebranding of its news programming, which will see comedian Mark Humphreys doing a comedy skit at 6.57 p.m. tonight and Astro Tash start an astrology report next week. I'm also not one to have my evening news served up with humor and horoscopes either, so, to be honest, it is time to go, Gadella sniped. As I'm known to say, the caravan moves on. There is certainly plenty of talent left in the building and I wish them nothing but the best moving forward. She ended her Take No Prisoners post by thanking the many friends she had made throughout her long career with the network. A sincere thank you to everyone who has made this possible, so far, including past employers like the Stokes, Packer and Gleason families and the news directors, executive producers, and station managers who saw fit to give a kid from Babinda, in rural Queensland, a go. I owe you so much. Then there are the viewers. You will never know how much your kindness and support means. What a privilege it is to be welcomed into your homes to present you the news of the day, she added. There has been a cost-cutting bloodbath at 7 as the network's news division comes under new management. Three major names to go at the network recently include veterans Robert Abadia, Andrew Frampton, and seasoned Melbourne crime reporter Cameron Bodd, who is known among friends as the harvester of sorrow due to his grim news beat. On the Sydney front, Abadia, perhaps the most high-profile of all the F, 